In this series, I'm breaking down machine learning algorithms in the easiest and most practical way possible. This is part three, linear regression, one of the simplest but most powerful ML algorithms. So what is linear regression? Imagine you are a real estate agent trying to predict the price of a house based on its size. You gather past sales data, square footage and selling price, and you plot it on a graph. If you draw a straight line that best fits all the points, boom, that's linear regression. It's the ML version of bigger house, higher price. But instead of guessing, it finds the exact mathematical a relationship between the two. So how does it work? The model takes your input, square footage, and learns the best equation to predict the output, which is price. And the equation looks like this, where y is the predicted price, x is the house size, m is the slope, so how much price increases per extra square foot, and b is the intercept, which is the base price when size is zero. And once it learns this equation, you can plug in any house size and instantly get a predicted price. So where is linear regression used? It can be finance, so predicting stock prices based on historical trends. It can be marketing, so forecasting ad spend versus revenue. In healthcare, so estimating a patient risk score based on age and health factors. But also, when does it fail? Linear regression assumes a straight line relationship. If your data is more complex, like predicting house prices based on size, location, number of bedrooms, and market trends, you will need something a bit more advanced, like multiple regression or decision trees. Follow me for the next part of this series, where we will break down another ML algorithm in the simplest way possible.